Hello, little beans. I'm here with Heather and Rob. B is still sick. Hi, Heather. Hi, Rob. Hello. Hi. We figured there hasn't been an updated chest video on B's channel for a while, so we would show you where some of the chests are that have moved. Some of them have disappeared, so that's why we want to do a new one since you can no longer obtain them. All right, first chest. None of us are able to get to it because Rob at one point was able to get it, but apparently a lot of the people with 1238 as their code, their codes has changed. But if yep. you know your code, you can come over here, put your code in, and go through the door. Go get your, what is it, the paper airplane? Yeah. Yes. I still have the airplane, but I can't get in there anymore. All right, let's head out to front of castle. Woo. Oh, but before we do, so during the winter break, you could get a chest uh, up here. But yeah, it's, it's gone. Gone. And then there was the one you could get at the top of the chimney, but that one is also sealed off now and you can't get it anymore. All right, the first chest, we're just going to fly up to here. And then you're going to want to get out your light powers. And then you just shoot this crystal. Why is it not working? Oh, you're supposed to be able to get out your light powers. Shoot <laughs> this. I don't know, maybe it's because we've I already think gotten it's... it. It doesn't melt anymore. Oh, maybe. But when you do it, it opens up the crystal here. And inside the chest is the glow face light thingy that you can kind of see on me. And then the next chest, fly straight out of there, up to the top of here, jump into the water, and swim down. And then this chest has 500 diamonds, or 750 diamonds. Ooh. Ooh. Even better than 500. Let's go to the rainy woods. Now, obviously, you guys will know some of these are element locked. So if you haven't got a certain element, you won't be able to get them. But not all of them are, so it doesn't matter. So if you want to go ahead and fly straight on into the rainy woods down here, the first one is obviously element locked. So you're going to follow this one all the way along. Oh, I didn't know we did this animation. I just did a backflip while I'm flying. That was cute. You're going to fly all the way along towards where the portal area is. So obviously, you know that you claim your portal here on this mound. In case you need help, just go ahead and claim your portal so you can see where you are so you know the area so you don't get confused it's really really simple and then just behind this area where the portals come up from you'll see like a river where james is right now now you will need to have the nature element in order to claim this chest now i'm not sure if rob and webby have this one yet so they might not be able to get this chest but there's only a couple that element locked so don't worry but all you need to do is shoot your nature power at this little bush here on the wall and the bush will come down and reveal this cave area that you can walk through you can use your power to see, keep seeing if you want to. And as you can see, there is your 1,750 diamond chest at the end of the cave. So if you walk back out of the cave again, all the way up, you will get back to the top. And then once you have got back to the top, the next chest is literally just around this corner. Come along, everybody. You just got to walk up here. And behind this big tree right here, the second chest is located just behind it. So as you guys can see, this one has 500 diamonds. I think, Rob and Webby, you can open this one, right? I already have that one. Okay, so Webby can then get yourself 500 free diamonds. Why not? There you go. And then the next one is in the Enchant Traverse. So what we're going to do is as soon as you've opened this, have you opened it, Webby? Yeah. We're going to go ahead and Yeah, it's just doing back. an animation. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and fly back out of the rainy woods and back to the Enchant Traverse entrances. Now, this first one, again, requires you to have completed the nature element. So what you're going to do is go back through the nature portal after you complete the element. You can also get it when you've just finished it, but you have to have your wings. You cannot get this until you have claimed your wings. So you're going to go through the portal and once you've loaded it the other side, you have to have already completed the nature element to have the wings in order to fly up. Okay, so once you're in here, you can go into fly mode as long as you complete the nature element and the chest is right here on the top of the podium for 500 diamonds. Once you're done, head back out through your portal back into the Enchantra Bear's home portals. So for the next one, you can go back through the ice portal if you want to, but I think that would take longer. So personally, I would go through the Enchant Traverse, so through the rainy woods, head on through all the way to the end where the portal is located. Once you get here, claim your portal or summon the portals at least and go back through again. Okay, go through the portal back into the Enchant Traverse. 
Then you are going to head into the ice portal. So go over into the ice one and teleport through it. Now you can only get this chest if you have already completed the fire element. So the only way to get this is if you've completed the fire element. If you've completed ice already, you can fly. If you haven't, you will have to do the obby course. And then you're going to head over into the maze section, jump down into the maze. And once you're inside, you'll find this like blocked off ice area right here the way to get in here is to get out your fire power from your fire element this is why you have to have completed it and you can then melt this wall by firing your power at the wall it melts the ice and allows you to go through and once it's fully melted jump through and your chest is here and it contains 2000 diamonds now you can melt it from either direction so if you forget to do it from one side and you want to do it from the other you can so you can go ahead and do it from this side too that is up to you then once you're done go ahead and reset by clicking give up go back to the element area and then teleport back through into the royal high castle from the enchantress portal so once you've come into the main canvas the first chest you're going to find is all the way over at the end open up the last counselor's office now either you can do this if you're high enough level or have the actual sparkly star award to open it or ask someone else like james just did to open it for you you're going to look over at this table here and you can see that mine's glitching through because i've already put the key in to open it but you click on this little door and a little tiny chest will show up inside and you can claim it now i think there's only one other chest in here right which requires you to be 1500 level to get it which is the one inside of the teacher's lounge. Luckily for us, Stephanie is a high enough level. So Stephanie's going to head on inside when you're ready and show us the thing. So scan your teacher's card as long as you are a high enough level to have unlocked the Sparkly yep. Star Award. You go through, walk over to the teacher's lounge, and this is really cleverly hidden because it's just behind a little letter on the shelf, as you can see right there. What does it contain? 3,000 diamonds. So there you go. 3,000 extra diamonds as long as you are level 1,500. And that is all of the ones in the office, right, guys? Other than the headmistress yep. office, which we're going to show in a minute. Yep. Cool. Yep. So there are two chests inside of the headmistress's office, but the only way to get that is either with the quest, but there is also one other way to do it. So we're going to show you that as part of the maze section, because the other way to get in there if you don't have the quest is using the maze. And right now we don't have the quest. And who wants to wait for a quest when you can do it a different way? So inside the bathing quarters, if you go over to the right over here and fly straight up, the next chest is right here, just on a ledge containing another 850 diamonds for you and then if you fly back into the bathing quarters and walk through this door head over to the right where the laundromat is the next one's a little bit difficult to get because it's at the end of this race and the only way to get it is to actually manage the race all the way along which i still haven't done so i haven't got the chest yet but it is at the end all the way at the end of the race i can't show it to you because you also can't go in cinematic camera over there but trust me there is one there my friends all got it because they're all cheaters so if you want to go on the race you can actually go on that and get to the end and get the chest at the end as well the next chest that you're going to need is inside the mazes now we're going to show you the three most important chests this will also show you how to get to the headmistress's office without needing the quest and the rest of the chests inside the maze you can just find by yourself they just have like lower level things like xp or diamonds but they're going to be too hard to show you in a video so just literally run around the maze and you'll find them but the three main ones okay. the ones that have the most important stuff we will show you so all you need to do is open up this back dryer in the corner and then jump on inside. This will teleport you into the maze once you get to the bottom. All you need to do is drop down. And if you have your sound on, you can enjoy listening to yourself scream with blood curdling scream as you go down. So once down inside the maze, all you need to do is run through. The first one is really easy. Go left, go right, go left again. And then you're going to walk all the way along. Eventually, you're going to see two entrances. You're going to ignore both of these entrances. But after you've got to the second one, there's a third entrance don't go through that turn left and just walk against this wall eventually the wall goes non-solid and you can go through it at the end you'll find the flashlight accessory that everybody is always talking about go ahead and reset because this will be easier for you to find the next one rather than walking all the way back i'll just show you if you reset because it's easier once you reset and you're back at the beginning you're going to go ahead and you are going to literally turn left turn right but then turn right this time and continue walking all the way to the bottom now this is going to take you to two different chests and one of them is one that everybody has been struggling to get to this takes you to the rainy day classroom chest so if you walk all the way along all the way to the end 
and then eventually you'll find a wall if you go through this wall there is a chest here immediately which has 900 diamonds before you leave to the right of the chest is a non-solid wall keep walking the vent will open and drop down the vent now some vents inside this maze are ones that kill you but this one has a teleport at the end so when you go through this one you will teleport through and when you come out the other side you will be in the rainy day classroom now you want to make sure nobody else is in the radio classroom or at least the class has started because if the class is just about to start when you teleport in you will be teleported out of the vent and into the class and you'll have to do the whole thing all over again drop down the vent and the radio classroom is here so you can get to the end if you get teleported inside during the class you will have to start again once you've got this 300 xp you need to teleport back to the maze or reset there is no other way to get back out you can't do it by just waiting for like the portal to open or trying to go through the doors that doesn't work you can't go back through the vent you will have to reset wait for the class to start or teleport away so go ahead and teleport back to the bathing quarters and re-enter the maze so now once you're back inside the maze you're going to go left go right and go left again just like you do for the flashlight chest except this time once you go down you're going to turn right down the third entrance so obviously you'll see that the flashlight thing is here turn right to go down the first entrance so again flashlight here turn right to go down there is a, another one of those walls that you can go through at the end go through it and there's a chest right here that you can grab now before you go through to the next area there is a vent here you need to not fall down so you need to jump over that one and fall down the second one instead if you fall down the second one you will then teleport the third one is also fine you can fall down that one as well it counts just not the first one there is also a chest at the end if you keep jumping all the way to the end too once you fall down you will enter into a new vent system with all my friends but you might obviously my friends won't be there for you now this is where the headmistress vent is you actually need five people to break in so once you jump down you need all of your friends to also jump onto it which will eventually open it up and let you inside and that allows you to enter the headmistress office without needing to obtain the quest then if you come over to the painting and click on the key it will open up the painting and as you can see there is a barrier in here so you can't fly now you can do this without using any of like the resets but i personally reset in here so that you don't bang your head when you're jumping because you do only get one chance if you die you'll be thrown back outside and you'll have to start again and go all the way around the maze again or wait for the quest again whichever one you want to do and then once you're through here if you really want to you can go ahead and reset yourself again back to your character if you want and the two chests are here one here with five thousand diamonds and one through this invisible wall around the back if you walk through this has the headmistress's earrings item now i believe that is every single chest in the game that we have shown you other than the rest of the maze ones but there is this maze map created by mask d storylines that shows you where all of the different chests are located that they know of so far inside of the maze so if you want to use this feel free this should help you and thank you mask d storylines for putting this together so little beans there are four locations four areas inside of royal high that have chest locations and one additional chest that is level locked technically speaking but most of you probably already have that if you are the level that you need to be but i'm gonna go ahead and explain all of the different five areas where the chest locations are and how to find them so today we are going to go to diamond beach sunset island divinia park the beach house and the trading hub if you don't have the trading hub access yet you can ignore that one i'll put it at the end of the video for you so the little beans we're going to start off in sunset island nice and easy and we're starting off right here where you arrive in sunset island the second you get on your boat the first chest is right here you will see it as soon as you arrive and as you can see is the flower lay item this is like a cute little thing that goes around your neck it's very very cute next up you're going to just walk straight along you guys through sunset island go up these stairs right here and then the easiest way in my opinion to find it is to just go along the side of the left side of the stage come up over here walk up this bit where it says starry night campsite and as you come up you will see that there are a bunch of different tents the pink one over here has the next chest inside which currently has 250 
diamonds for you. And then the last chest inside of Sunset Island, you need to come down over to this green screen on the side of the island. And the best way I think to locate where you need to go is to walk down to like the edge of the beach so that you can kind of see the green screen up in that top left corner there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to jump inside the water like this, swim straight forward to this coral reef over here. And you will see the next chest just here. And this one has the tropical hair flower item inside of it. So those are the three chests in Sunset Island. Next up, we are going to go head on over to Diamond Beach. Nice and easy because a really pretty realm. Now, I'm sure you guys probably already know this, but Diamond Beach used to have more chests, but some of them were removed. So now the only chest in the game, if you come to this street, enter fly mode, and you're just going to fly up to the cable cars, you guys, and then just slightly to the left of where the cable cars are, you'll find this path. Walk up on along the left side of the path up towards the piano. And then as you come up to the piano, you will see there is another chest here. And this one contains diamonds, 2,500 diamonds, a nice amount of diamonds to get started if you're a newer player now little beans even though it's technically not a chest in case you want to know the game for the monster cat game entrance is still over here in this cave if you do go through it you'll go into the monster cat game and that's how you get yourself the kitty headphones accessory next up we are going to head on over to the beach house so once you are here in the beach house all you're going to need to do first things first is head straight upstairs climb up all of these staircases and as you get to the very top there's a room here with this dark brown door you go through this door here and the next chest is just here at the top this was moved for a little while to Davidia Park but it is back here again and it contains the darling Valentina puppy ears item and then next up you're gonna head outside back through this door and you're gonna jump off the side and we're gonna walk along the beach here you guys and just walk along all the way along here and eventually you're going to come to these like arches and things and you're gonna just literally just go out to the water straight across and this big rock here the one that's much larger as you can see so if you look out back to the area so you can see a, a sort of area for it is between this like a blue and purple beach house just directly down here close to the edge of where the water can actually go to there's another chest here this one contains the fluttering butterfly sleeves items to go with the set then once you have those we are going to go ahead once again and head off to divinia park now this one you guys is going to require a lot more focus and paying attention finding the chest in divinia park can be quite difficult so we're going to walk through it first things first when you spawn in at divinia park this bridge here with the white well, i suppose it's lighter pink and darker pink like wooden planks going along if you jump off the edge the first chest is located here directly under the bridge right here and this one has 250 diamonds and you're going to want to climb back on top of the bridge again like this then next up you guys we're going to go into flight mode again and from the beginning area where the bridge is you're just going to fly over to this area with the green screen here keep flying past the green screen and you're going to come over to this area here and you'll see there is a chest just nestled between these trees or another 250 50 diamonds then i would reset to get back to the beginning area because it just makes this a little bit easier next you're going to walk on over to the fountain like this come over to the fountain area we're going to walk all the way around the fountain and when you get to the back area of the fountain you're going to want to stop somewhere about just about here and then you guys you're going to look up between these two pink trees and we're just going to fly through these pink trees in this general direction basically flying through all these trees and just sort of keep flying in this general direction and eventually you guys as you're flying through you're going to find this building here this is like the mansion building inside you're going to head on inside it's still valentine's themed at the moment and come up the stairs and you will see there is another chest here for another 250 diamonds then we are going to go ahead and reset again and go back to the beginning just makes things a little bit easier next up you guys we're going to walk into the center of divinia park and head to the right and we're going to head on over to the dock area so if you head on into the right like this and we're going to walk around just like this and eventually we're going to come to this entrance here and we're going to walk off this entrance and head to the dock of divinia so if you head off around the side here you'll see the dock just here and i want you to walk over to the dock and just get ready by stopping at the end of the dock to then move on to the next 
next area. Then we're going to go into flight and we're going to head over to this big tree in the middle. As you can see, it's gone like an island in the water. And then once you dunk underneath this tree under the water next to it, you'll see there's another chest here. This has another 500 diamonds in it. Then you're just going to fly back up and pop back out again from being underneath that tree. And then if you look towards you so you can see this tree directly in front of you, it's going to help to be able to see where the tree is located. Once you can see that tree, you're going to then lift up out of the water and you're going to to look just slightly to your right so that you can see these two bridges you're going to fly over to the bridge on the right side you guys i'm going to keep my flight speed down a little bit just for those of you who don't have the flight pass but you're going to fly over to this bridge right here which is the second one the right hand side fly over the bridge and then come down at this like waterfall and as you come down into the water there is another chest here containing another 1000 diamond then what we're going to do after that you guys is we're going to just pop our heads back out of this water again so that you can see the waterfall right here and you're going to look to the right and you're going to follow along this cliff edge right here so we're just going to fly along this cliff edge as you can see it's very very easy you guys just fly along and keep following along the edge of the cliff the world will start loading in and then what you're going to do is you're going to see this area where the cliff starts to lift up as you can see where you can walk up we're just going to fly straight over that and you're going to come straight to these toilets right here once you go to the toilets you can actually see the chest glitching through if it's already open but you won't see that because it's not open yet what you're going to do is you're just going to walk inside these toilets and as you can see there will be a chest in here which has 500 diamonds then leave the toilets the way you came in make sure you come back to this area and then you're going to fly straight over past the toilets to this area here and then right below you you're going to immediately see another chest for another 250 diamonds nice and easy to find after that you guys fly back up again towards the toilet and come over to the path in between the two and then you're going to go into flight again you're going to follow along this path you're going to follow around the edges of this path and as you can see there's a split between the path you're going to follow directly down the middle instead of going along the path you're going to go straight down the middle and there's like a hump here i'm going to fly just slightly to the right of this little hump of land keep flying out and then go between these trees a thin tree and a thick tree on the left and you'll find a little river you're going to then follow along this river as you can see it keeps going we're going to follow along the river edge and just fly along it nice and easily and you're going to come up to this sort of cross between the river you're going to see a cave on the right and we're going to fly into this cave so i want you to go through the cave just like this and eventually if you go under the water you're going to find another chest here for another 1000 diamonds once you've done that turn around and come back out of the cave the same way you came in don't go all the way around once you get back to the exit of the cave you're going to turn your camera to the left and fly through this tree and you're going to see this tree here of like the branches coming low down and the building on the right keep flying around just like this and as you do you're going to find this little alcove here and there's another little chest inside for another 250 diamonds then turn around walk back out of the little alcove and we are going to fly to the right again you guys so not to the left we're going to go to the right and then go into flight mode fly over to this like tree again with like these leaves that you can see it's kind of like a marker fly underneath this low branch and then to the right of this tree and then you're going to find the water river we were at before we're going to go left again around this river and we're going to keep flying along until we come up to the next point to change so for now just keep following along the river nice and easy Once you get to this corner where you see these white stairs, you're going to go around and under the cave with the water in it, not the one without the water. And underneath, you'll find another chest, which has another 350 diamonds. Once you've done this, you're going to then fly back out of the cave. We are going to fly straight through back out. Don't go through the way you came in. Go through the other end entrance and you'll see this like bridge fly up and over towards this waterfall and then just as you fly over the waterfall there is another chest right here this one contains 500 diamonds you're then going to go back into flight mode and just fly above the chest that you just got and you're going to face out this way so you can see this tree right here you can obviously see this nice big tree then what we're going to do guys is we're going to fly between this tree 
and you'll see that there's a little cave with a waterfall and a little bridge. Fly under the bridge and there's another chest here and this one has 250 diamonds for you. So once you've got that last chest, you're going to reset again and then you're going to be back at the beginning. Then we're going to fly over the fountain right here. This is really easy. If you remember where the Lunar New Year area is, that's where we're going next. Fly over here. There's like this little piggy thing here and these flowers and this. And what we're going to do is once you get to here, you're going to then just twist yourself around a little bit so that you're in the area and just land past this bench just like this and look over and if you look out from the fountain the fountain's there on the left look out you'll see this like mound you can see that big rock you're going to lift onto your flight again and we're going to fly forward and we're going to fly straight over this big rock so fly over the big rock you'll see like an archway here and then just to the left there's some water here fly into that water and there's another chest here for another 500 diamonds then you can fly back out of the water and you can carry on with your day successfully knowing you have completed completed that those are all the divinia chests now the last place you can get a chest from is of course the trading hub so we're going to head there now once you are in the trading hub you are going to walk over and enter the trading hub through the door this one's really really easy it's not really a location in the sense that you don't really need to find it you're going to walk over to this elevator and once you're inside press to go down to the bottom floor so floor one just like that and you'll head down so do remember the door code was changed to 1225 for christmas it used to be area 51 but it is now 1225 once you head on inside there is another chest here and this is where you get ice's ufo item from and then you are done that is every single chest that you can possibly get inside of royal high all right everybody and that is the chest locations that are currently updated once any new realms release that might have chests in it there'll be another video that shows you where everything's at hope you all have a great day be sure to like and subscribe leave a comment to let us know which chest is your favorite down below and if you're able to get into the fireplace code thing let us know what was inside of it bye everyone bye, bye.